everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft and thank you for watching today's tutorial. This is another five minute um, paper craft um, design for you and this is for the Social Paper Craft uh, magazine that I am part of the creative team for. Um, so I'm going to show you today a quick project that you can do within five minutes. If you didn't see last month's one, I will share the link to that in the video description below and I will share the links to the Social Paper Crafter magazine and all that fun stuff as usual and all the supplies I use. So this one here, some of you may recognise it um, as something I've done before and this is what I call the squash box. I made a bigger one with a sheet of 12 by 12 and this one is using a sheet of 8 by 8. Um, really really fun to do and they, like I said they are so quick to do so if you are doing lots of favours you have a birthday party you're doing a, something for craft fairs this is a really good one just to put little treats in and I thought this one would be perfect for obviously something so sweet um, the supplies I'm using are brilliant I love this new um, newish collection now from Dovecraft and today I'm using the toppers so you know if you do need to do quick things Buying toppers and stuff that's pre-done, pre-die cuts are brilliant and they're really, really great ways to, again, make your projects look like you've spent hours doing them when actually you've just spent less than five minutes, which is perfect. So this is the paper pack here, which is Sweet Memories, and you can just see there, and I'll just quickly flick through. These are just really fun. That's the one I used for this one here, um, that little box. And then you've got the, flat, um, the cakes there, that lovely gingham print, roses and daisies plain pink polka dot which is the one I'm using today this nice blue pattern macarons or macaroons um, that print there more roses and then finish there with a looks like a iced lemon tea or a lemon tea so really really nice I have lots more to this collection as well and you will see me using that in future tutorials but today we're going to concentrate just on these two pieces so I'm just going to bring in what you need first of all and then we can get cracking on so just a few supplies one sheet of eight by eight I've got my hole punch ready there and I pre-cut two pieces of ribbon 12 inches should be enough I've got about 13 there so two pieces I've got this lovely minty green color there I've chosen one of the toppers which is this one here time for tea and I plan to put some little um, tea bags inside this one just as a nice little why not kind of gift um, so it's just fun I love doing things like this so we've got everything ready okay so if you're doing this with me go grab your stuff one sheet of eight by eight two pieces of ribbon and a topper and a hole punch as well. All right, so it's easy preparations. You could have all your eight by eight papers now all stacked up, all your toppers stacked up um, and all your ribbon cut and you can literally whiz through these. So let's get cracking. I've got my stopwatch here ready. And as I said, this will all be done within five minutes. So let's begin. So first of all, you are gonna score at one and seven eighths of an inch, three and three quarters of an inch, five and five eighths of an inch and seven and a half okay that's it just those four score lines there that you need to do that's everything with your scoreboard so i'm just going to pop that one down oh dropping things along the way and now you can just burnish all of those score lines so i'm just using my hands to do this obviously you can use your bone tool if you want to and then you're going to need to pop some tape here which i just put away so i've just grabbed my tape so i've just got a double-sided one here you can use wet glue as well if you want to and you're just going to run that one just down that little half inch piece that we have there and that's our tab so i'm just going to take off my backing for this piece here she says there we go oh, that's not very good take off the other bit there we go flip it over pop over one side with your tab pop the other side down and it will marry up and fit perfectly on top okay with your join have that on the bottom and then with the side pieces just push them together until they line up like so Pop it on its side and you just want to put two hole punches so one and then about half an inch between them like so and then do the other end yeah make sure it all marries up nicely you're just pinching the edges there and again one and two okay so that's that done and then you just want to grab your ribbon now those of you that watch me you know i hate doing bows and stuff but I will persevere 
and get this done. There's one. These are unedited five minute tutorials. So this is as it comes. So you'll watch me now faff about. Obviously, if you've got uh, a little bit more time, then it can go over five minutes. But even doing all these fiddly bits, you can still do it. So there's that one. I'll tidy them all up in a minute. Obviously, you'll pop in what you need to inside. And then again with the other one. I love this colour as well. I can't remember, I think I got this one from the range. It was one of those 12 metre rolls of ribbon, but it's a really lovely satin um, piece of ribbon. It's lovely. So again, I'm nearly there. I don't think I'm doing too badly, actually. I think I am getting a lot better. And just pop that one through like so. And then you just want to tidy up your edges. So like so. And that one, and that one. So there you go, already you have this very cute little squash box that you can just shove now anything you want inside. And then we just need to pop our little topper on top. So I've just got some foam backing and pop them on there first of all. And do that one. It's easier to put it on there because then I know where to stick it. And that one. And I think I might do this long ways actually, so I'm going to do it like so. And there you have it. I just think they're so cute. And there you go, three and a half minutes and I've done one. So it just shows how quickly. So if you've got a lot of pre-made die cuts, toppers, things like that lying around, you've got a load of eight by eight papers. And the other good thing about these is they lie completely flat. So again, you can get it all prepped and ready, store it away until you need it and it's not going to take up any room. But there you have it. I can still, still got what, a minute and 10 seconds to just yap away, but I'm not going to. So there you go. Um, all the supplies I will share in the video description below. I will share the other five minute tutorial as well. I will share it all on my blog, all the supplies, everything, and the links to the magazine. If you haven't already, please follow us. We've got a Facebook group as well. And there is a monthly sketch challenge as well. So lots going on um, with eight other amazing design team members. So have a look at that. But for now, I might as well stop that because I don't need it anymore. Um, hope you've enjoyed today. Another quick little five minute craft. They are so cute. And I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.